Of all the teams from the Flint area, only Beecher standing in the state semifinal. They've already made history winning their first district and regional titles. Now between them and their first trip to state, Detroit Loyola. The Bucks seeing firsthand why the Bulldogs were undefeated headed into today. Loyola was big, they were strong, and they hit Beecher all day long. I promise I did not mean for that to rhyme. Forcing the fumble there from Marcus Wright, Calvin Jackson eventually picking it up and going for the score. Bucks down 22 nothing in the second quarter. The ensuing kickoff though, this is Eric Cooper, one of a handful of seniors on this Beecher squad doing what he can and he is gone 65 yards on the return, but Super Cooper scoring Beecher's only touchdown of the day. Got worse in the second half, right with a pick, but I'll admit this was a nice grab by Keith Graves from Loyola. Look at that one handed snag there. That will lead to another Kimani Graves touchdown. He had three on the day with 190 yards rushing. Beecher season ending on a sour note, 54-6 the final, but both coach and players say they're not gonna let this game define their historic season. No, no, um, this season was still successful. Uh, without their championship, we won districts, first time in school history and regional, so uh, it was very successful. They made history even though right now it doesn't seem like much to them. You know, they set the standard. Um, for hopefully what's for what's to come in the future. The Bucks finished their season eight and five, but they got most of their players coming back next season. So congrats to them on a fantastic run. More area scores in Division Four. Swan Valley season coming to an end, losing to Detroit Country Day 38 nothing. In Division Six, Ithaca winning its 41st straight game, 31-14 over Shelby. They'll play for their third consecutive state title. And in Division 8, two area teams will go at it in Detroit. Harbor Beach getting by Muskegon Catholic Central, 32-27. And Bill City season continuing the Ford Field. They beat St. Ignace 25-7.